Hey guys, it's Gio from Smart Home Makers. Today we're going to look at a new feature, My Home Assistant, and how easy it is to integrate devices into your home assistant. Let's get going. Now we're in Home Assistant, and let me look how we used to add integration. So we used to go to Configurations and Integrations. Over here, we can still use this Configure button. But now with My Home Assistant, we can do that from the Home Assistant integration page. So let me show you that now. So if you go to the Home Assistant uh, page and go to integrations, here you can find the full list of integrations. If I search for LifeX, for example, I'm going to click on it. Now we have this My Add integration, right? So this button will basically connect to our Home Assistant and we'll install it in. So let's try it out. So if I click My Add installation, now we need to link the URL of our Home Assistant in this page here. So go to your Home Assistant, get your URL link, copy that and paste it over here. So we can click, for example, update. Now we've got the prompt. We can uh, prompt open link. Now that will go back to our Home Assistant instance and we can say, OK, we can set it up. We've discovered a bulb, a submit and successful. So now we've actually integrated LifeX through the Home Assistant page with My Home Assistant. Another cool feature with My Home Assistant is that you can actually use this to read and import blueprints. Blueprints are a very cool way of uh, helping basically to template automations. So if you go to the Blueprints forum, I'll leave a link down in the description below. For example, uh, let me go back once so you can see this. You can see the full list of uh, blueprints. And if you click, for example, on this one, I'm click on the low battery level detection notification. And if you scroll up, you should be able to see the My Import Blueprint. So if you were to click this, and obviously you need to have your Home Assistant Core 2021.3 or higher, click Import Blueprint, and you have the, uh, again, the instance URL here already set up. So click Open Link, you can have a look at the content of the blueprint. And you can see now it's been added in and we can use it to create automations. So as always, it's awesome to see Home Assistant releasing new features. But if you want to find out more about Home Assistant and new to it, we've got a video here which I'm going to explain some of the Home Assistant concepts. Another video is going to explain to you the options and where you can install Home Assistant. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.